Hi, I think I'll break this up into a couple of quick videos. Uh, this one is about point slope, uh, which you've already learned about. You've been working with it already a little bit. Um, I just want to go over an example. So here we have uh, y minus 3 equals negative 1 half x minus 2. Uh, so from this, we get that we have a point um, of 2, 3, somewhere on the line, 2, 3. And then we have a slope of negative 1 half. Okay, so let's graph that. We go over 2, we go up 3, go right there. Slope of negative 1 half. So I'm going to go down 1 while I go across to the right, 2 spaces. I could go down 1 again across to the right, 2 spaces. Down 1 again across to the right, 2 spaces. Down 1 again across to the right, 2 spaces. I can also go to the left, 2 spaces, and up 1. To the left, 2 spaces, and up 1. And I can take a ruler out and draw a line through these points that continues on forever. Okay. Now, this means from this, from this point, <clears throat> we could write some other point slope equations. Now that we have this line going through all these points, um, we could write it using this 4, 2, for example. Um, or we could use it, well, here, let's do that. Um, y minus, let's see, 4, 2. Y minus 2 equals negative 1 half. The slope is not going to change. Uh, x minus 4. Or we could use these points that are called intercepts. These are called intercepts. So this is the y-intercept. I don't know that we've used that terminology yet. We probably have. Um, and this is called the x-intercept. The x and y-intercepts are locations where the graph crosses the y-axis or the x-axis. So if we use the y-intercept, we would have a y minus 4 equals negative 1 half x minus 0, all right? If we use that point in point-slope form. If we use this point in point-slope form, we would have a y minus 0 equals negative 1 half x minus 8. You could use this point also, or this point, or this point. You could use any point you want. Create a, a, an equation for this line in point slope form. So there's four equations, all of which represent exactly the same line. Okay. The next video will take this idea a step further.